Yeah, the component of my, my illness was down to my time in the area of overseas and tales of war. Exercise has been a massive benefit in helping me during the down days. As we are veterans of this proud country, through duty and devotion, serve to fight the injustices around the world and to keep our country free, I find it saddening that our, our efforts do not even want a small reward. Can I just add that I'm no longer serving, but see my time in the RAF as the pinnacle of my life. The readjustment to civilian life has been extremely <coughs> difficult, as I know a large majority of veterans also find sport was such an important part of our time and a fantastic way to relieve stress, depression, and one to take our mind off it. I do find this decision to remove this wonderful benefit incredibly sad, um, and do hope you can uh, consider consider. Uh, we veterans are a modest lot, really, and we don't wear our troubles on our sleeves, because that's our condition in spite of adversity. But believe me, we can be hurt inside, but not to like a good section down at the fantastic world pleasure facilities we can sort out. As as we veterans, we don't complain, we don't ask for much, and receive even less. And in this case, I would implore you to be
terms of the agreement of cabinet in September 2013, we then developed a leisure transformation program which was chaired by the council leader as a cabinet member, and we met on a monthly basis. And part of one of the work streams was the price link program, and that's how we've done the research over this last year to develop the price link programming approach that was identified in the report that came to cabinet in December June. Is that sufficient?
when unfortunately these cases get to settle part of the law to, to, to in the most important cases of suicide. And that's been an issue that's been recognised in a number of reports. So part of that is the reason around that. Uh, thank you. Uh, just as a